Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Terabox. Before we start, hurry up and check out this offer just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you use Terabox here? Well, in this case, using the actual platform or the app is fairly easy. So, the first thing that you'll see when you open up your Terabox account here or the Terabox app here, you should be able to see the homepage. Now, the homepage will contain a different information, like for example, the benefits section, recent files if you access, you've, uh, in this case, your favorite files if you have any, and some offline files here that you might want to basically add. Now, by the way, for you to get this one, or you need to basically need to allow offline, or you need to basically select the, in, select the file, then just tap the download and offline access. Now, in this case, the benefit section will contain the option for you to basically generate some coins here that you could use to basically get the premium version of the app itself, which in this case is a great benefit if you want to try their premium perks. Now, with the app being free here, so in this case, if you're not aware, they are, are actually giving you one terabyte of data here that you could use for storing your files. But then again, there are going to be a lot of a lot of ads here since the app itself is free. So again, there's going to be a lot of ads that you'll be seeing here. Now, in this case, if you get the uh, enough coins here, you can buy a premium pass here, which in this case allows you to use premium for one day if you want to uh, test that out. Now, in this case, you could also add or buy a few other things like official wallpapers here if you want to an additional 10 gigabyte of data. Now, in this case, so this is the homepage section. Now, if you click on the folder icon here, you should be able to see all the files that is available in your account. Now, in this case, if you want to access one of the files here, you go ahead and just click on it and basically view the video or the file itself. Now, if you want to turn on automatic backup, you go ahead and click on the automatic backup section at the very top here. Now, in this case, all the thing that you could do with this video is you could basically add this as a mini player. So when you click on the mini player at the bottom right here, you should have a mini player and still view your video while you're still doing other things here, which is a great thing that uh, Terabox here has to offer. Now, also if you press and hold on the video itself or the file, you have the option to either download, share that file, delete the file, rename the file or even do a bit more like for example if you want to move this somewhere or copy this somewhere you go have it, go ahead and do that but for example we want to give this as a favorite as an easy access let's go and choose start now once you've start this when you go to the start section that video or that file will now be available now in this case the next thing you want to do here is you want to access your photos now, in this case, you have the option to basically select photos or, in this case, files to upload. So, photos are, in this case, if you want to sync your photos here just for safekeeping, you could basically add them in here. But you could go and click on select and upload photos here. But, yeah. So, by the way, if you don't know how to upload a file yet, you could go and click on the plus button at the bottom right here and either choose either video, video, document, zip applications and if you have other formats here you could go and choose more here now also at the bottom right you have the play button which allows you to view your recently watched videos or the videos they have right now on your account now also if you click on the device here this allows you to view the videos in your device which is the local videos they have now if you click on the send button at the bottom right here this allows you to start sharing files here so if you click on the select files to share here, basically select the file itself and click on share. This allows you to share the file itself via Terabox to other platforms like for example, Telegram, Instagram, Facebook, Messenger, and a lot more. Now you could also copy a link here or email them if you want. And also, if you want to access your account settings, you can go and click on your profile photo at the top left here and basically either access the following. So you have RSI bin here. If you've like for some deleted something, you should be able to see it in there for 30 days. You also have the shared files here if you've shared any files. And also, you have the other options like automatic backup, space analyzer, personal vault, some benefits if you want to get the, uh, the premium plan here for uh, Terabox. And also we have our settings, Webmaster, Hub Center, App version. Now just to make the deal, let's go to settings here. Now if you want to change a few things on how your Terabox app here would look like, you can enable a few things. Like for example, if you want to only use Wi-Fi for transferring files, you can go enable that. 
You could also display long file names in multiple lines if you want to. And if you want to use night mode, you could go ahead and enable that as well, which in this case is going to be the dark mode for the Terabucks app. Now from here, if you want to clear your cache, go ahead, click on clear all cache here and it's, it will be cleared. Now, if you have offline data, it's just going to uh, show it in here. And you also have the about section. Now, by the way, if you want to switch over to a different account, you could go and click on switch account. Or if you want to log out, you could go and click on log out. And that's about it. So those are the basics on how to use Terabox here. And uh, it's actually pretty good. So the app itself is pretty good because it actually offers you one terabyte of data, which in this case, not all platforms actually offers. So the other competitors here for Terabox uh, only offers like 10 gigabyte, 5 gigabyte, or 2 gigabyte of free data or free space here. But with Terabox, they offer a 1 terabyte data here, which is really awesome. But then again, there's going to be a lot of ads since the platform itself is free. But yeah, so in this case, uh, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and I'll watch our next video.